So let's examine the following example that deals with electric potential difference, also known as the voltage difference. So let's suppose a charge Q is accelerated from rest through a voltage difference given by VBA. Now let's look at the following diagram. We have two parallel plates. We have plate number one which has a negative charge and is found at position A and plate number two which has a positive charge and is found at position B. Now the charge on this electric charge is negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs and the mass of this charge is 9.1 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. So when we take our negative charge and we place it at position A and we release it, it will begin to travel from this position A to this position B. Now it will travel from a lower voltage to a higher voltage. By definition, this negative plate will always have a lower voltage than this positive plate. And that's exactly why VBA is given by a positive number because VB is higher than VA. So our voltage difference is positive 10,000 volts. So let's begin by looking at our uh, section A. Calculate the change in electric potential energy of our charge as it travels from location A to location B. Now as our electric charge is traveling from A to B, it is losing electric potential energy and it is gaining kinetic energy. So we essentially want to calculate how much electric potential energy our charge will lose when it travels from A to B. And to do this we have to use the following equation. So, our voltage difference between A and B is equal to the change in our electric potential energy from A to B divided by charge Q. So the change in energy of our charge Q. So we take this equation, rearrange it, and solve for change in Q or change in U. So the change in U is equal to the product of VBA and Q. Now VBA is 10,000 volts and our Q is given to be negative 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 coulombs. We multiply these and we get negative 1.6 1.6 times 10 to the negative 15 joules. So this negative sign simply means that when our electric charge travels from A to B, it loses this quantity of electric potential energy. Now, where exactly does all this electric potential energy go? Well, it goes into increasing the kinetic energy of our electric charge. And that leads us into part B. What is the velocity of the charge as a result of this loss in electric potential energy? So all that electric potential energy that is lost is gained by the kinetic energy. So our change in kinetic energy is equal to our negative change in our electric potential energy. So this simply becomes one half mv squared because the initial velocity is assumed to be zero. So we have the following result. We solve for our v and we see that v is equal to the square root of negative two multiplied by change in u divided by m. Notice this negative sign will cancel because in part A our change in U was negative. That's because our uh, charge lost that amount of electric potential energy. So we plug our value in from part A and we use our mass to calculate the velocity which is about 5.9 times 10 to the 7 meters per second. So this is our velocity of our charge when it reaches position B and it gains this velocity as a result of its loss in potential energy, its loss in electric potential energy. So once again, because there is a voltage difference between plate A and plate B, our charge will gain kinetic energy as a result of that difference in voltage.